Hi, in this video we're going to look at the exchange of materials that takes place between the blood and the body tissues, all happening within the capillary network. So we know that the site of exchange of materials, nutrients like oxygen and glucose are going to leave the blood and enter into the body cells and the body cells are going to get rid of their waste products such as urea and carbon dioxide and that's ultimately going to enter into the blood plasma. Key to understanding how all of this works and we will look at the details of that is to understand that all of our body cells are surrounded by tissue fluid. So the tissue fluid is this interface between the cells and the capillaries, the blood plasma. So anything leaving the plasma and going to the cell must first pass through the tissue fluid. And equally, anything leaving the cell to enter into the blood vessel must also pass through that tissue fluid. We'll also have a look at the lymphatic vessels, which we'll find very close to the capillary network. Look at what their role is in exchange. So we'll start by comparing the blood plasma, the liquid component of our blood, to this tissue fluid that surrounds all of our body cells, because they are quite similar in their composition, made up of the same types of things, both mostly water, other things then dissolved within them. Major exception to this is the plasma proteins. They're just too large to filter through the capillary walls, therefore will always stay behind in the bloodstream. Otherwise, we we'll, composition between these two fluids will mostly be the same. But how is it that we get things like the oxygen and glucose out of the blood? and things like the carbon dioxide in. So remember, as the blood comes from the arteries into the capillary network, it's coming in under this high pressure, and it's now being forced or pushed its way through these incredibly small blood capillaries. So what that does is it creates a pressure or a force which squeezes the blood and forces out those key substances and we refer to this as pressure filtration. So things like oxygen, glucose, other nutrients from digestion, they leave the blood plasma, they leave the capillary and they go into the surrounding tissue fluid and there from the tissue fluid can make their way into the body cells. Body cells will use these substances for their chemical reactions, their day-to-day -day activities. So they then need to get rid of their metabolic waste, things like carbon dioxide, which will diffuse out of the cells, into the tissue fluid, and then into the blood plasma. So the vast majority of this tissue fluid will ultimately be returned to the bloodstream. Quite close to these capillaries, we'll also find the lymphatic vessels and it's their role to absorb any excess tissue fluid to make sure it's there in the correct quantities. So some of that tissue fluid will enter into the lymphatic vessels and we'll therefore refer to it as lymph fluid. The lymph fluid will travel through the lymphatic vessels. They ultimately merge with the veins and again, most of this fluid returns to general circulation. So let's try a past paper question. Okay. So pause the video, select your answer, then hit play when you're ready to reveal the correct answer. So here we have a diagram which shows the movement of substances between the capillary and the surrounding liver tissue cells. So they've used the example of the liver, but remember this would be true for any of the cell types. So the question is which role in the table identifies the substances numbered one to four in the diagram? 
So let's take a look at number one. So we know this is a substance that is leaving the capillary and ultimately entering into the tissue cell. This is happening right at the entry point. So that must be oxygen. Okay, it's the first thing to leave. Okay. Number two is also in the capillary and ultimately entering the tissue cells. So looking at this table, it must be something useful to us. So that's the glucose. Number three is something in the liver cell that's ultimately making its way to the blood within the capillary. So something the cell wants to get rid of. So that must be carbon dioxide. And four is a substance that remains within the capillary at all times. So that must be the plasma protein. So the correct answer is B.